I think I'm pretty sure it was pre podcast mm. when I first met him. That's me and him. Yeah. What is that? Oh, that's like 2007 then. It says nine. It says nine. 2009. Yeah. Is that the first time I met him? I don't. I God, mean, am I off by that many years? Well, you also so you, know, you, you know how this shit works though. They might have uploaded this. No, yeah. I think that's a correct though. Time. It looks right because of my beard because I grew a beard when Evan well, Tanner died. 2008. So 2008. A little bit after. That's year. right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's a dude named Evan Tanner. He was a UFC champion, and uh, he was a very interesting guy. Very interesting guy, and he would do these things that he would go on a walkabout, you know, to try to find himself, just to just go alone in the woods. And he did one in Death Valley. And uh, you, you, heat stroke apparently wow. affects your ability to literally you can't think straight. Mm. So he couldn't figure out where the water was. Oh. He just couldn't figure out where it was. Because, like... I, I don't know. I've never had a heat stroke, but the way it's described, it's like it, it doesn't matter how tough you are. It's like your brain doesn't work right. right. Like your, your memories aren't good. You, you can't walk right. Like you're about to die. Yeah. And then he died. Mm. And Death Valley is, uh, I think it's the hottest spot on earth, right? Yeah. What does it get to? That's right outside of Vegas, yeah, right? Yeah, the hottest recorded I think we hit was like 130 something. Yeah. So uh, Evan, you know, was a. Just a very interesting guy, very, very tough guy, too, and a great fighter, and we all loved him. And so <sighs> so that was, like, right around that time. That's how you remember it from the beard. Yeah, man, he was an interesting dude. When an interesting dude winds up dying in a way that's unfortunate and, and preventable like that, it's like, fuck, mm. man. He would have been cool to have around. You know, yeah. He had, like, a very different take on why he was a fighter. and Like, he was, like, trying to find himself through this. You know, and there's there's certain guys that you, it's like there's the authenticity that comes through in music, and it fucking comes through in everything, man. Mm. It comes through in fighting too. It comes through there's certain humans that are just so authentic that right. when when they're out there, you just want you want the best for them. Right. You want to see them fight. You know, and uh, when you, you you see people like that in life, that's the one of the beautiful things about today. Is that you get exposed to so many more inspirational and fascinating people to be a young person right now and to have all these different stories you got your culture walls out there you got you you got zach bryan you got all these different human beings you got all this music from the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and there's so much to right. influence you and, and it's, it's, so, it's at the tap of a it's in our hand any anytime you want yeah. why go to sleep your parents uh -huh. aren't paying attention Stay on YouTube. And you, I, you'll be on YouTube till 4 o'clock oh, in the morning. Sure. you got to get up at 6. Yeah. Like, these no, kids don't give a fuck. At all. And the, and the thing about it is it changed our business on its head. Mm. Like, on our head. And everybody was so against it at first. Napster. Yeah, they were so, but they were so like. I never forget having a conversation with a distributor that said, well, let me say this first of all. I would like to say, though, I don't want to breeze over it. I'd like to take a moment because I know it means a lot to his family. I'm sure to say rest in peace to Evan Tanner. And yeah. I'm sure you bringing that up means so much to their to that family alone. And that's awesome. Then that alone, his story will live forever because of this. And that's also what's cool about the era we're in. Right? You know mm. what I mean? Is that forever we'll have that clip of Joe Rogan getting emotional talking about his friend Evan Tanner because you've seen a picture of you with a beard. That makes me want to cry with you, Joe, because that's that fucking awesome. I don't want to. I don't want to breeze past that because that's cool as fuck. There's well, there's something about like commentating on fighters where you have this uh, <sighs> this crazy uh, connection with them where you want them to to do good in life. You want them to. You've seen their soul. Mm -hmm. you, you when you when you see two dudes going to war inside the octagon, there's they're exposing every fiber of their being. Especially if it's a tough fight. Yeah. All the quitting you shows up, all the excuses show up, all everything shows up. The 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 will, the courage, everything, whoever you are, it shows up. And you get to know these people and you get to know them as a fan too. And I think that's one of the, the things that people love about fighters. So you get to see you you know you see the actual whole human being. There's no place to hide. Yeah. I think we relate to things we, we connect with things that we either relate to are things that are so uh, like around us that we could never understand it. Yeah. So for me, for a fighter, it's like I respect the fact that I could never imagine getting down into a diaper, 
getting into a <laughs> ring with a pair of oven mitts, a pair of oven mitts, Joe, and fucking trying to kill another man uh, for north of 15 minutes yeah. at times. You know, like that just concept for to me is fight. fucking insane. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, it is insane. I just could never wrap my head around that. I was talking to Tony last night about, I feel about comedians. Like me and the musicians were in the green room shooting the shit with Tony. And I was like, we got something you don't, Tony. We can bail each other out or we're going to bomb together. I mm. bombed before and looked back at the band and just smiled like, well, we're bombing. It's happening. You know what I'm saying? It fucking sucks. You know what I mean? Like, but when y'all bomb, oh, you could hear a fucking yeah. mosquito fart. I could have heard a mouse piss on cotton last night a couple times after a dude just threw up an egg.